about you guys, but I genuinely feel like I look like a cloud. <laughs> What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. For today's video, we have a Miss Pap haul. Now I'm really excited about today's video because I have picked up so many cute things. As we are approaching into autumn, I feel like when I say this, you guys will probably agree, but autumn is like the perfect time for fashion. I feel like you can just layer up more clothing. You can experiment way more with textures, colors, and that kind of thing. And that is probably why it is my favorite season. Now, just because we're approaching a new season does not mean you have to go out and buy a whole wardrobe you can totally make your other clothing that you already own work in a way that makes it warm but personally you guys know me I do like to shop a little bit by a little bit I mean a lot so I actually did pick up a lot of new things that I just thought would spice up my wardrobe for autumn now today's video is very kindly sponsored by Miss Pap so I'm very very grateful for them sponsoring this video I'm very excited to be working with them because I love Miss Pap so much but as always if there's anything that I don't like or doesn't particularly fit me very well I will let you guys know and of course you guys will be able to see it anyway so I hope you guys find this video helpful and interesting. If you guys are brand new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys wanna stick around, make sure you guys subscribe down below. But I guess without further rambling, let's get on into the video. Just so you guys know, everything that I picked up for this video will be linked down below. And I do have a discount code, which I'll display on screen right now. And also all the prices for everything will also be displayed on screen throughout the video. So the first item I have is actually a little two piece. Now this is a cute little co-ord. You guys know I love anything fluffy so when I saw this I was just like I need this in my life now I know that the set is a short set and a vest and even though that seems like such a summery thing it is definitely for the autumn if you want to cozy up at home you want to sit and chill under a blanket this is what you want to be wearing so this is what the shorts look like and they are made of the cutest softest fabric ever once I have this on I would definitely feel like a little teddy bear and that's exactly what we want so yeah these are the shorts they're very stretchy and then this is what the vest looks like like I I'm obsessed with this. Look how freaking cute that is. I absolutely love the color. I love the fabric. It's very, very soft and stretchy. So this is definitely made for lounging around or even to sleep in. I mean, for starters, I just don't think you can go wrong with a set like this, but let's go try it on and see how it fits. All right, guys, so here is what the first set looks like on. I am just obsessed with this. This is so freaking cozy. It fits like an absolute glove. I'm not even over-exaggerating. Look how well this fits everywhere. This outfit is literally making me want to get under a blanket and just watch Netflix all day. That's how cozy it is. Now clearly this outfit was made for lounging around, but I feel like you could also make it into a cute outfit if you just paired it with like a nice hoodie over the top and some trainers. I mean, who's to say this is just to be worn inside? I feel like you could totally wear it as an outfit as well. So yeah, overall, I don't think there's anything that I dislike about this outfit. So I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. Now the next set I picked out is another co-ward. Now this one is in a very interesting color which I don't usually wear, but I do occasionally like. And it's basically sage green. I feel like sage green was very in in the spring, but it's also making a comeback now because it's a very autumnal, muted kind of pastel color. I think sage green is honestly like the new brown or the new nude, especially for autumn. It's just such a nice color. So I picked up this little two piece, which is basically just a relaxed boxy kind of t-shirt. And the bottoms are actually a set of joggers like this. And guess what? They have real pockets, hooray. They just go all the way down. They're not really cinched in. In fact, I wouldn't really say they're joggers. They're more like fabric trousers because they're not really cinched in at the ankle, but they do have an elasticated waistband and they have the faux drawstrings as well for decoration. I just loved how this look on the model. In all honesty, I don't know if I'll be able to rock this color, but I thought I would give it a try. So let's pop it on and see how it fits. Okay, can I just say this outfit is literally everything. I just love how this looks. I love the color. I love how like relaxed and chill this outfit is, but it still looks put together. The length of the trousers, I'm actually pretty surprised about. I didn't think it would be like a cropped kind of trouser, but I actually like it. I don't think there's anything wrong with having like a slightly cropped kind of trouser leg. I think because it's cropped, it actually shows off a little bit of skin, which kind of gives off the illusion of like longer legs, which I really, really like that. As I've already mentioned, I love the fact that this has pockets. I feel like pockets are such a must for me. If my outfit doesn't have a pocket, I have to give my phone to Matt and I'm really not the type of person that always carries a bag around with me So the fact that these have pockets is really nice I can just go around town with like my phone and maybe a card in one pocket or the other and yeah 
yeah, it's really, really handy. I'm also gonna show you guys what it looks like from the back. I feel like it makes my butt look pretty flattering, even though it's a pair of joggers. Also, I was a little bit concerned that the fabric might be a tad bit see-through, but actually it is not see-through at all, so that's amazing. So yeah, I guess that is that. I can't really say anything bad about this outfit. Again, I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. I feel like Miss Pap have definitely stepped up their game, so good job, Miss Pap. Okay, so a complete contrast in styles right now. I'm gonna show you guys a very bougie looking two piece. Now this is kind of like a going out kind of co-ord. This is what the top half looks like. It's like a satin bralette. I'm obsessed with this. I saw this on the model. I needed it. I don't know where I'm gonna be wearing this, especially at this time of year, maybe going out, which I don't even do. But I just, I just needed it, okay? I will definitely find an occasion to wear this just because of how pretty it is. So yeah, this is it. It kind of has like a little corset effect in the center as well, which is really cute but it does have a zipper at the back as well. And then the straps are actually adjustable, which is amazing. And then the skirt looks like this. It's again, made of the same satin fabric. It's got a really nice like ruching detail down the side. And then it has this thing right here, which almost makes it look like it's meant to be like suspender. So that's that. Um, again, this one has a zipper at the back and I just really, really love this color. I love anything satin, especially around this time of year. I just think it looks really festive. I know I'm thinking way too far ahead right now, but this would be so cute for New Year's Eve parties. So let's pop this on and see how it fits me. All right, so here is the next outfit. Let's break this down. This is a very extra outfit for me and I do feel a little bit exposed just because I don't usually wear things like this, but I absolutely love the color. The color is amazing. The fabric is absolutely gorgeous as well. And even though it's quite thin, like the satin is thin, it's not see-through either. So I'm really impressed with it. I just paired it with a white pair of heels. I probably would wear like a nice little white bag with it or something, but I'm just obsessed with this. I actually kind of feel like I should wear this for New Year's Eve. If New Year's Eve isn't even canceled, because let's be real, things are very uncertain right now. But yeah, overall, this is the outfit. Here is what it looks like. But yeah, I just really, really love the corset kind of effect in the center and then also the ruching on the side. It just gives the whole outfit such a luxe kind of vibe, which I'm obsessed with. Also, I do want to give credit where it is due because these cups actually fit my boobs quite well. Like a lot of the time when it comes to bralettes like this, I find that the cups are just way too small and usually my boobs are like way underneath. But this one is pretty good. I feel like it fits my boobs pretty much exactly. So that's amazing. Amazing. All in all, I'm really liking this, but I'm gonna give it like an eight out of 10, just because practically, I don't know how often I'll be able to wear something like this. Now the next outfit I have put together is basically more of like an everyday chill kind of vibes, but still very put together. So the top half is this really, really cute ribbed body. It looks like this. It's just very simple and white, but I love the neckline. It's kind of got that scoop neck, but then it has like a tiny, tiny V in the center. I absolutely love the quality of this fabric. It's very thick for a ribbed kind of fabric, which is quite rare to come by, to be honest. And then on the bottom, it just has the sort of like claspy, <laughs> crotchy thing, as I usually call it. And I honestly don't really wear bodies enough, but I think they're great for wearing jeans because it just means that nothing comes untucked. So then of course, to go with the body, I did pick up a pair of jeans. These are kind of like mum style jeans. I've been really getting into this style of jeans lately. I used to be all about the skinny jeans, but recently, as long as jeans fit me around the waist and the hips properly, I don't really mind if they're a little bit more relaxed around the leg. So I picked up this pair from Miss Pap and this is what they look like. They have like little rips. I didn't want a lot of rips because obviously in autumn you get cold. If you have rips in your trousers, you're gonna be cold. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but in the rips, there's also some bling bling going on here, which I think is pretty cool. But yeah, this is the kind of outfit I can see myself wearing on a daily basis, just chucking a nice warm coat over the top and be good to go. All right, so here is the casual jeans and a nice top kind of outfit. I live for this outfit. I honestly love mostly the top. It feels really thick and good quality. I'm honestly not really into bodies all that much. Like a lot of the time I won't think to pick it up, but I'm so glad I picked this up because I feel like it just makes any outfit look really crisp and it's a nice base for pretty much any outfit. I love the style of the jeans, but the only thing is I feel like I have quite a bit of room around my waist. Now I have to put this out that I have a lot of trouble choosing pairs of jeans a lot of the time because my waist is a lot thinner than 
my hips. So obviously for something to fit and go over my hips doesn't usually cinch me in at the waist. So that is the reason why I do have a little bit of room in the back. However, I feel like with a belt that probably could fix the issue or even if I just sized down to an extra small instead of a small, that probably would have done the trick as well. But in general, the jeans are really nicely fitted around my legs and everything. I absolutely love the rips because I've just realized that they're not even rips. Like underneath isn't my skin. There's actually denim underneath the rip, meaning that there's no breeze. So you don't have to worry about being cold. So this is what the outfit looks like from the back. I would say the top is definitely my favorite part of the two. It's just one of those things that I feel like everyone needs in their wardrobe. Now the next item I picked up from Miss Pap is another cohort. I don't know what it is with me, but I love cohorts. I just think they're so easy to style, especially around autumn time. So I picked up this one. It looked amazing on the model. It just looked so cozy. I don't know if you guys will be able to see what the texture's like, cause it's like pretty washed out on camera right now, but it's basically a knitted cohort. The top half is just very, very cropped and very relaxed. I love the bat wing kind of sleeves. I probably would wear some kind of bralette underneath this just because it is quite short. And then these are the bottom they're exactly the same fabric. Now, the only thing I'm a little bit concerned about with this is the fact that it's literally just a knitted fabric. There's so many holes in this that I feel like when I put it on, you're just gonna see everything. So I think if you were to wear this, you would definitely have to wear some nude underwear underneath. But all in all, it's a really nice quality set. The fabric feels nice. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be itchy or anything. So let's go try this on and hopefully I won't expose myself too much through all these tiny little holes. So here is the knitted outfit. Now I must say, I don't know how this works, but it's actually not see-through. I really thought that when I was gonna put these leggings on that they were gonna be really like see-through because there's so many holes in the knit texture, but actually I feel like you can't see anything. I don't know how this works. I mean, there's literally thousands of holes in this. You'd think that it'd be quite sheer, but actually because it is so close to my skin color, you can't really see anything, so that's amazing. <laughs> As I said, the top is quite cropped, so if I was to wear this out, I definitely would wear something underneath, not just my bra, because it's very easy to just slip. But overall, I have to say, I really love this outfit. It's so cute, so cozy. I mean, just looking at it, you can't deny that this outfit screams autumn and winter. Also, the string is actually real. It's not just for decoration, so you can actually cinch it in at the waist to however tight you want. So yeah, in general, I actually really like this. This outfit is kind of a vibe, so I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. Now the next item I have is actually a dress. I feel like I don't wear dresses enough around autumn time, so I really wanted to make the conscious effort to pick up some that would be really comfortable to wear around autumn time, especially in the colder weather. So I got this one because I really, really loved the color of it. It's that really gorgeous camel kind of color, perfect for autumn. And the main thing about it was the fact that it had a long sleeve. Obviously, when it's cold, you want a long sleeve. You don't exactly want to be wearing spaghetti straps in the autumn, so this is perfect. So this is what it looks like. It's basically just a collared shirt kind of dress, but it does have a bit of a twist to it. It's got very poofy sleeves at the bottom, but they're cinched in, which I love. And then as you get to the bottom of the dress, this is what it looks like. It's just very short, but it's very poofy at the bottom. It has a lot of volume to it and it's got really nice cinching in, which is very stretchy. Oh my gosh. That's gonna be pretty comfortable. It also has buttons all the way up so you can have it quite low or you can have it quite high up, which personally I probably will kind of do up the buttons a little bit higher. I just thought this was really cute. It was just too nice to pass up, so I had to pick it up. So let's try it on and see how it looks on me. This next one, I am just... I'm just baffled, like it is such a cute dress. I just don't know why I've never owned something like this before. I love everything about it. Like this is literally me in a dress. It's a little bit extra, but not too much. I love the sleeves. I love the color. And actually I did a little bit of a styling trick. When I was putting this on, the collar was actually tucked in and I really liked that neckline. It's like a V neckline, but it does actually have a collar. Let me just show you guys. This is how the dress actually comes. So obviously you can have it with the collar out, but I just discovered you can like double it up and tuck it in. I have to say my favorite thing about this dress is the fact that even though it is quite a short mini dress, I still feel really secure in it, mainly because it has 
this like cinching in kind of band underneath just to like keep the dress really close to my legs at all times. So I just know that if I was to wear this out, even on like a windy day or even if I need to like squat or something, my dress is gonna stay put. I realize this dress might not be everyone's cup of tea, but personally I really like it. So I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Now because I love that dress so much and the style of it was quite unique, I thought why not pick another one that's kind of similar. So I picked up this one, which is a white one. I've actually seen someone on Instagram wearing this. I can't remember for the life of me who wore this, but I saw it, I loved it, had to get it. So this is what it looks like. It's quite plungy, this one. So if I was to wear this, I probably would wear like a white bralette or something underneath. But the reason why I love it is because the sleeves are so extra, they're so poofy and just, they're just everything. Again, it's got the same style of bottom of the dress. It's very poofy. In fact, I think this one might be even more poofier. I don't know about you guys, but I genuinely feel like I look like a cloud. <laughs> And I'm not even mad at it. I actually kind of love this look. This dress is so doing its absolute most. Like it's doing everything it possibly could. It's very plungy. Let's just put that out there. I do have my nude bra underneath. So that's what you guys can see. But I mean, if I was to wear this for reals, I might just put like a little pin in it just to kind of conceal my bra a little bit. If it was like this, absolutely perfect. The sleeves, can we just talk about the sleeves? They're so extra. I feel like I should literally be in an editorial magazine wearing this dress. I think it's a very unique dress, like for sure. I feel very bubbly and round and I actually like it. I really like this. I think this is so cute and especially with like the white heels. I just think it looks adorable. Honestly, now that I've got it on, maybe this isn't really like the type of dress I would wear in autumn, but for summer, I'm whacking this one out. Next up, we have some more sage green. You guys, sage green is everything right now. I have another body. This one is, again, quite plain. It's ribbed, it's got that scoop neck. It's got a long sleeve, so again, perfect for layering up. And I feel like this is the perfect base for like any kind of outfit. And then for the bottoms, I actually went for some mint green joggers to kind of go with like the green sort of vibe. I did actually wanna get joggers in this exact color, but they were all sold out. So I went for these ones instead, which are slightly lighter, but I'm hoping it's still gonna be a cute outfit because they're still in the same color family so let's pop these two on and see how they go together okay so this is the next lounging kind of outfit i actually feel like these two do go together i was a little bit worried that they might not because of how light the bottoms are, but actually I really like this outfit. This is the kind of outfit that you'll actually find me in every day. Like I like to dress up for Instagram and whatnot, but when it comes down to the nitty gritty, this is what you'll see me wearing in town. It's just so cozy, but put together, but like not trying too hard, but still kind of cute. So many different things, but I love this. The joggers are actually really comfortable. They're quite baggy. I like the combination of something really sort of loose fitting on the bottoms, but then some something really tight fitting on the top. I just think it makes the silhouette look really nice. Also, I did mention that the joggers were a little bit sheer and to be honest, they are a tiny bit on the back, but on the front, I can't actually see any of the fabric of the top underneath it or anything. I'm not really sure what's going on there because it's not see-through on the front, but it is a little bit on the back. Do you see what I mean? Like you can actually see the white label. But to be honest, it's nothing major. Like I would still wear this because you can't really see my underwear or anything underneath. It's just a little bit sheer. I think I'm gonna give this outfit a seven out of 10, mainly because of the sheerness on the back. But overall, I really, really like both of them. Now the next outfit is more like business meetings kind of vibes because it's very um, like classy in my opinion. So the top half is very beautiful. It's also very creased, so please ignore that. But this is what the top looks like. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably know that I've recently been loving tops like this that are very just easy but pretty and elegant. I've been really loving poofy sleeves like this and especially with like the square neckline. I just think it's so flattering. So when I saw this, I just knew I had to get it. It's such a cute top. But then the only difference about it from other tops that I own is that it has this like strap at the bottom, which just adds a tiny bit of difference to the top. Just like a nice little addition, you know? I just thought it's a bit different. I just really liked the shape of the top. And then for the bottoms, to go with this top, I picked up these really nice nude trousers. So this is what they look like and again let me just say they have real pockets i'm so so glad because a lot of trousers like this have like fake pockets that aren't actually 
like operational, do you know what I mean? And again, they're just very simple. They're like a peachy kind of color, which I love. And then they kind of just taper at the bottom of the leg. So I think they're gonna be pretty fitted. I'm hoping they're gonna fit me around the waist and the hips, but let's see for ourselves. So this outfit is definitely another ball game. I love how casual, but also smart it is. Like I could definitely wear this to like an event or a meeting. I probably would feel a little bit overdressed, but I still feel like I'm in my comfort zone in this outfit because the trousers are just very comfortable. They're very me. And then the top is just something a little bit different. It is a little bit like dressy in my opinion, but I still love that. Also, can we mention that the top is a little bit creased? She's creased, but she's still cute. So that's okay. That's what we like to see. Obviously when I wear this, I'm gonna actually iron the top. I'm not just gonna leave it like this, but it's still really cute. But yeah, this outfit I genuinely love. I feel like it's very on trend right now. It's very Instagram. I think again, I'm gonna have to give both of these items a 10 out of 10. I feel like I'm on a roll here, guys. And now the very last outfit I picked out for this video is actually more of like a smashual outfit, you know, like a smart and casual outfit at the same time. So the top half is pretty dressy, I would say, because I mean, simply the fact that it's satin and also because it's a crop top. I love these straps. They're adjustable because you just tie them to whatever length you want. And then the top itself is very, very nice. The quality feels really nice and soft. And then the back of the band is quite stretchy. So obviously it's gonna be quite comfortable and then for the bottoms This is what I mean by smart and casual the bottoms are very casual the bottoms are basically just a pair of white joggers This is it. These are the joggers and they're very simple. They're a little bit oversized They kind of give me pajama vibes, but in the best way possible But let's put them together and see how they look. So this is the very last outfit. I really actually like this I Honestly was a little bit worried that like combining the very casual almost like pajama looking bottoms Wouldn't really go with the top, but actually it pairs quite nicely I think It's mainly because the trousers are quite simple and plain like there's not really much going on What I love about this is that these are joggers that you could actually wear in the summer Like I didn't even think how thick or thin they would be and because they are quite thin I think they would be really good for summer. I just really like how lightweight they are They're very breezy very airy and I honestly just feel like I'm just wearing wearing pajama bottoms. I think these joggers are genuinely gonna be my go-to like home joggers. We've all got a pair of home joggers, right? It's that one pair of joggers you own that you always go back to because of how comfortable they are. I also paired it with these trainers that I also got from Miss Pab. I honestly love how they look. I think in general, the whole outfit is pretty cute. So I'm gonna give this one also a 10 out of 10. So that is everything for today's Miss Pab haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and just got to see what's available currently on Miss Pab. Like I said, I will have a discount code for you guys so you guys can save some coins I will pop it on screen as well as in the description like I said all of the links to everything I showed you guys in this video will be in the description as well so if you want to check out any of these things for yourself be sure to do so I hope you guys like these items as much as I do because I definitely had some fun picking out things on the Miss Pap website I feel like every other item I just wanted to add to my cart so it was a little bit difficult to narrow it down but overall I'm really really happy with everything I picked out so let me know in the comments which one of these items was your favorite. I would love to know. Again, I want to say a massive thank you to Miss Pat for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video too. So that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and being here and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.